Sparks and Earth Stone and Harry and Earth. My engine. I have something fun for you for today. I have. I, I know we only do one YouTube video a day, but I was building it back again. I was wanting to show her that what we did was fun. Um, but I can't do that. I can't do my juggle no no joking about this place because of what happened today. I'm at home, and I'm just saying, I uh, saw all the random stuff that happened. Well, not really, but I saw some of the weird, um, random stuff that happened. And I know my name's Earth Stone, and I have some weird stuff, and has some weird stuff. I'm gonna watch some Fred and I'm going to watch a video of me making this video and then recording it while it's going on. But, so, I have a treat. Something. 24 things to do, but I do have a pretty list of things to do. And so, I've been here minding my business in my room. My attendant is in the living room because she wanted to do something in the living room. And uh, she's been minding all of my business. All of a sudden, my mother starts calling my attendant because, like I said, I can't turn the video back. She goes to the door. The door is locked. My mother never locks her bedroom door. Ever. I'm 43. She has never done that. I mean, and my mother is a counselor. She's had people in our home for counseling in her room, but she was always left with her mind a little ways away and never locked the door. So my aide tells me that the door is locked. Now, when I get told that the door is locked, I start to panic, knowing that I'm about 43. And I knew, I didn't even know he was here. He came in very stealthily. I was minding my own business. I, I didn't hear. I was listening to music. And um, he doesn't want to leave. My mother told him to go. First of all, when he called and wanted to talk to her, she told him she didn't feel well. My mother isn't well. She has a very, uh, she has a, Let's say clinicopia of conditions right now. And the last thing she needs was this asshole. So, what happens is, um, I discovered that he won't leave and that the door is locked. But I tend to try to get him to go. And this piece of unadulterated shit takes off his things like he's ready to fight my attendant. And so, my attendant said I can use her to do this. So, Faye, thank you so much for seeing us as family and being willing to uh, try to protect. Because this guy, I don't know that he's taking his medication, he's supposed to be on it. But see, the way he acted today, let me know that ain't none changed with him. Let me explain this. I'll take you back to before he got married years ago, like, gotta be over 20, and, uh, he had a little hand problem back then, just beat the shit out of his wife, but that dumb bitch would cheer him on when he was beating up somebody that was trying to stop him from beating her, cause she dumb as horse shit, same as it, same exact bitch, so, he liked beating her, and she don't mind getting beat, and that's one thing, but when you bring the same energy over here, to where I live, you done fucked up. Because see, what he didn't know is I have an emergency call button that was in my hand. And if my mother didn't stop me, I would have pressed it and they get here quick. Because my medical alert network says a GPS. They know this address. They always, they always know where I am. And the fact of the matter is that he was in the house with three women and felt like he could blow up and attack women. But when my friend Faye called her lovely, respectable man, that nigga wouldn't even answer the phone. Yeah, I said, nigga, you can say what you want about me, but you know what? He has set a fine nigga. Nigga. And know what I am? I think a piece of shit. You did that in my house, in front of me, and you know how good my mother's been to your ass. You know what she's done for you. 
what she overlooked when you stole from her, you and your wife. Because you, you do that, right? You do the credit card thing, you steal. I bet you still doing that. You're a piece of shit. You're, you're just wicked. But somehow, I don't even know why. And I'll tell you, just so we're all clear, his initials are D, as in D as in deplorable. As in pussy, and S as in shithead. DPS is that nigga's initials. I've had it. I don't want to be on the scene again because he tried to make me feel unsafe in my own home, and that will not be tolerated by me. By me. My mother can do what she please. My mother's a very forgiving person and will overlook a lot. She always has. So, I'm just saying that's for me. Never. I'm done. I'm up. First of all, let me be clear with a lot, because I feel like I need to say this. I'm a only child of a single mother. I never knew my father's family. He wanted to be aborted. He was hands off all the way. But he three never met. But for me, my family consisted of my grandfather's side of the family and my grandmother's side of the family. My grandmother's side of the family, I love wholeheartedly, and I'm, even if I ain't speak to you in years, if I see you on Facebook, I'm going to reach out to you. We family, we you and we got it. My grandfather said the family. I bear the regard most of them as human at this point. Uh, because all the good ones, except one, are dead. And the ones that are left are confused about what they should do with their life. They're confused about the way they should walk in life. Confused about everything as if they had no guidance from birth. It's really weird. And after my Aunt Margarita's, I'm going to use the name she did. I, I can feel for using her because, yes, if anybody from that side of the family wants some, come get some. I don't care no more. I have zero fucks left. You hear me? Zero. I'm pissed because I got a whole side of my fucking family that see they can talk shit and act wrong. That's my grandfather's side of the family. Only one left that's good. Only one. And I'm, I'm trying to look for other people. In that side of town, but I literally have only found one, and she is wonderful. I mean, nobody in their right mind would ever have bad things to say about this one. Um, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. He acted unseemly in my mother's life, and I made a deal with my mother years ago as I was getting older and seeing the way people treated her. The deal was, if it didn't happen around me, if I wasn't dead to see. I would let her handle it alone, because I wasn't there. I was here for this. I was here for this. And let me tell you, I love my mother with everything in me. I would give my last breath to protect her. Do you think I'm going to let this shit slide? No, because see, now you're a threat. I'm letting everyone through this podcast know DPS is a threat to my safety. I don't care what my mother believes. I don't care what she do. DPS is a threat to me. And if DPS is around me again, I will have to act accordingly, according to the laws of God and man. Oh, you may be wondering what I meant about the laws of God. Well, you you gotta remember that I do pray. A lot. I I pray too much. I I just love it because you can teach some come up with prayer. So, um, you disgusting, deplorable nigga don't make me go to God about this. Because I got a track record of doing this. I have an all my track record of my whole life. Anytime somebody bothered me, anytime somebody thought they could be around me and wreak havoc, I went before my Heavenly Father. I pleaded my case, and it ended. One person that was vexing me sore, completely disappeared from my life. We don't know what happened, but he left, and he's gone. So I, I will tell you, DPS, don't do it. Don't come around me. Don't speak to me. Don't even say my name. You see, I can be simple if I see you in this, at a social family gathering, but you, no, don't come to the house, because you went out with them. And the way I do with threats is when they show up, I do not know. I don't take time to see whether or not you want to do so. You show up on calling the cops. I have no problems dialing 911. Never have. Never have. 
Because there was nothing to me at this point. Not like it's worth anything in the beginning, but you just downgraded yourself even further. Because even when I was younger, I was never allowed to be alone with DPS. Now, I had other male cousins I was allowed to be alone with. But especially him and his brother. My mother would never let me be alone with them. And even when DPS spent the night in my house when I was younger, my mother would tell me to lock my bedroom door. And I never liked my like my mom. I would never lock my but when they stayed the night I had to lock my door. Think about that. Him and Drake got a lot of trauma. Drake has a myriad of problems. You you just go through Drake's phone and pick out one you think this is it. Cause I'm pretty sure two of them tried to do um I'm not aware of every allegation against Drake, but I'm pretty sure two of them would fit this person pretty well. And, uh, I'm over it. I'm not, this is not a warning. No, I'm just telling you, you show up and warn you guys. You have no right to be around me. You have no right to see me. And by the way, since you wanted to be petty, like, and that's what I don't get. You're supposed to be a grown ass man older than me acting like a fucking pussy ass bitch. I don't get you, nigga. Why? What is up? That you can't regulate your own emotions so soon. What is happening in your little reality? And you feel the need to explode in somebody else's house and talk your shit and try to first of all you came to my mother because you wanted somebody to listen to your problems. Nigga, we all got problems. I'm dealing with shit I don't even talk about. Because I'm giving it up to God. I'm letting the Lord handle it. I don't, I live with my mother, which I don't mind, I actually don't mind it at all, but I live with my mother and she doesn't know everything I'm going through. She right in the other room and don't know everything I'm going through because I am a woman and I have a head on the top and when things piss me off, I go to him because I know how to see God's face for myself. But you want every, every little problem in your house, you got to bring to my mother. Every time something pop off in your house, you gotta bring it to my mother. Nigga, are you a man or aren't you? I thought you had a dick and two balls. I did not know you had a pussy. I did not know you were masquerading as a man. I did not know that you decided to deceive all of us and play as a man. Cause you're not even transgender. You are, you're, this is a facade. You are perpetrating like you a man. What the hell, Negro? This is what I don't understand. Nobody's asking you to do anything to stay the fuck away because you have violated my home. Like I said, you have violated my home. My mother has been nothing but good to you. Good to your bitch ass wife. Good to your retarded. Your daughter is so fucked emotionally. I, I don't even know how to come stay today. And I think you had a hand to fucking mess her up. I, I really do. Because you're sick in the head. Oh, your son in law? The one who can't do shit and won't keep a job and still keep you and your wife and watch your daughter's pregnant with his baby and ain't nobody doing nothing. Yeah. You talk all that shit to my mother. You <laughs> and then when you get your butt on your shoulders you wanna show off? You come for help and rest with your show. But you show your ass when the woman you came to told you on the phone before you that she did not feel well. She should never have to say that. You should have took the hint to her voice on the phone and said, I'll talk to you later. But when she told you to throw your shit up. Since you can't follow directions and leave when you're told, like a man, I'm gonna let everybody know you pussy ass bitch. You are a pussy ass bitch. I'll tell you how far I'm gonna go with this. Because this is the year of exploding. My husband started out as a male to female transgender individual by the name of Jill. And my husband even asked Jill was a better man than you. With the earrings, the uh, waist trainer, the blouses, the skirts, still a better man than you. Because my husband would never do this. He would never disrespect my mother. Especially not in her own house. You deplorable, despicable, not even human. 
You need to be at that altar. You need to cry out before God because you still got those same white feety tendencies you had years ago. It ain't leave. So if that didn't go, I know the other thing that you didn't leave either. And that other thing of you, keep fucking around with me. I'm going to let people know. Keep fucking around with me. I'm going to tell it all. I'm the cat wounds of this motherfucking family, and I got years of secrets, especially about you. See, what you fail to realize that the person you go to for aid, I see, I know when you show up. I know. I know when she talks to you. Because, see, her demeanor changes. You, you're a special case with her. But, see, you're not a special case with me. You're the lowest and dirtiest. And I can't believe the way you acted today. I hope you went home and told your wife how you humiliated your son and disgraced your own last name by the way you acted today. You ought to hang your head in utmost shame. You ought better walk around with the most humility on the planet. Because when you get you, you crossed the line. And it's over. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear from you. And yet you were pretty as bitch. Tell me, but you can't be the godmother to my grandchild no more. Nigga, did I ask you? Did I did I volunteer? Did I say anything to do with you or your fucking daughter? Did, did I ever pop my lips to say I wanted anything from you? Do I ever ask you for a bunch of fucking money? I don't ask you for nothing. And I refuse to. Talk about I can't be the godmother to. Because if you put the godmother to the baby, I'd have to deal with all y'all. I don't want to deal with none of y'all. Keep all your family, all your problems, all your wanting, all your complaining. Keep it at your house. Tell it to Jesus. Learn how to self soothe Go back to the drawing board and become a better man. Become a real fucking adult. See, that's why your daughter's fucked up and her husband's fucked up. You, have, you can't leave. You need to clean out your closet because you can't leave your family. And you're supposed to be a man. You're supposed to be a man. But you're heading into infidel territory. And you know what that means for your children. Nigga, you don't know me like you thought you did. I'm never going to be that one. Mm-mm. Never. See, what you failed to realize. And I'm also glad you failed to realize it. So it doesn't make my job a whole lot easier. Yes, remember that thing I did for you online? Remember what I found out for you online? I found it out for you. Now you piss me off. Do you think I can't reverse it and find out about you? Do you think I can't find out about you? I know enough dirt I ain't got to go dig. I know enough. But you need to show more respect to my family and to my mother's house. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear you. You need to go back to the altar and cry out before God. Because this ain't right. My mother has been nothing but good to you. Nothing but good to you. And many times that you done cussed her out and said all men are evil to her. She has never required of you. She has never done evil for evil with you. Never. But that's my mother. I ain't my mother. I'm telling you right now, you're a threat. Now I'm probably you're a threat. And if you're around me, I'm going to have to go there. If we're in a public setting, like a family gathering, you're there. How you stay where you are? Don't approach me. Because if you approach me, I'll, I will ram your legs with the wheelchair. And I have that foot plate that will hit you in the shins. And it will hurt. And as you double over, I'll punch you in the face. You're a threat to me. I perceive you as a threat when you are in my vicinity around me. You are a threat. And I will act accordingly. I'm letting everybody know. DPS is a threat to me. Because he could not govern himself accordingly in my mother's house. And threaten people around me, which makes him a threat. And I take threats very seriously. So, there are people that know DPS. That are in the church I grew up in. I'm going to be the other churches that I know and are associated. Maybe uh, knowing of DPS. You know what? What did Kendrick say in one of his districts? You know, keep the family away. When you see this nigga, keep the family safe. Hide your valuables, hide your children. I'm telling you, this nigga ain't right. Hide everything you hold dear, because he got sticky ass fingers too. I'm telling you, that nigga has sucked and been sucked since I was born. I'm telling you, when DPS is around, hide everything you hold dear. Because I don't know, maybe he was off his medication today, but I don't care. 
I don't care if he was off his medication. I don't care if he had a bad day. We all have bad days. We're required to act like human beings. We're required to have a little bit of dignity. And we should at his fucking age, because he's way older than me, should know how to fucking substitute and get to the day without acting plump crazy in somebody else's house. When I told my aunt what happened today, she said that it was false imprisonment and that my mother could have called the cops. I know it was. And I know my mother could have called the cops, but we all know my mother won't call the cops. I will next time show up, I'm afraid I will call the cops. We will be right there. I don't care. You were nothing to me anymore. Well, you were nothing to me in the beginning. Let's be honest. I regarded you as dirt as a child. Because something wasn't right in you, and I knew it. And my mother, all forgiving, all encompassing, all of me, that's, that's, that's her. It ain't me. If you think I'm about to give you a pass on this, nigga, you must be out your damn mind. GPS is his initials. All members of my church that I grew up in, remember this. This nigga is a threat to me now. And if he's a threat to me, y'all know me. He's a threat to you too. Because you never know how he's going to react. He's unpredictable. Like I said, maybe he's off his meds. I don't know. But he better stay off his meds over where he at. And I don't mean to talk all hard like that. Because you know I'm usually not like that. But now this nigga done did it. I will make sure. As long as there's breath in my body. That he will never hurt my mother again. If it comes to, I will. There are thoughts in my head that I'm probably gonna have to repent for. That I'm probably needing to repent for because of this nigga. DPS is a piece of shit. And my, mind you, I'll put it out there. DPS got a wife, a daughter that's born, and a son-in-law. And he keep bringing everything that upset him to my house, to my mother. I don't know why you married a bitch you can't talk to. You raised a bitch you can't talk to, and she married a nigga you can't talk to. So, so you have a household full of people you can't talk to. But you pay bills for it, and you let them live up. That's your own deal. So whatever problems you face with your inability to make good decisions, because that's the whole of your life, your inability to make good decisions, please remember this one thing. I am not my mother. You fucked up. You upset me in my house. You are now a threat to me. I regard you as a threat and I will act accordingly. Those who know him, tell him not to come. Tell him to stay away. Tell him it's better for him if he stays away. Because I don't want to enact the plan I have. And I got him. Trust and believe. I take my safety seriously. I take my safety seriously. And I deal with threats accordingly. I deal with threats according to the law of God and the law of man. Like I said, the law of God and the law of man. And trust me, one thing I love about my God is Old Testament justice. You hear me? One of the things I love about the God I serve is Old Testament justice. I know some of you like, hey, I'm really gonna be a Christian, so me. No, 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 no. My God changes not. So the God of the Old Testament is still the God of the New Testament. But since I know y'all have, like, some sort kind of barrier in uniting votes, because I've had people that are so New Testament heavy, they forget there would be no new without the old. Old Testament just will occur. My God is a good God. <laughs> and he said, touch not mine anointed, and do my prophet no harm, and guess what you did. So now, nigga, whatever way God chooses to deal with you, praise the Lord on that. But in the meantime, if you come around me, 911 will be dialed. No, fuck that. I got an emergency button. I press the button. And they already know the address, and all I have to say is, say to myself, all I have to do is let them know you're a threat, and they'll be here. So I'm letting you know, I'm letting everybody know, DPS is a threat. Keep your family away from them. Because guess what? Those tendencies did not go away. Those tendencies that everybody thought were, so long ago, but none of this blood, it ain't. This is when a resurgence. I don't know what he did, but this is when a resurgence of that negative thing he does. So I'm thinking the other thing he's been accused of the caught doing would probably be uh, the. I don't want to say it yet, 
But like I said, him and Drake got a lot in common. A lot, a lot, a lot. So let's just leave it at that. But let it be known, if I see this nigga in my vicinity, like I told you, I'm bed bound. Because um, something that happened about well, almost four years ago. I'm working on it, getting my stream back, and everything's turning up rosy. Um, so pretty soon, I should be out of bed. But, no nigga. I'm done. If I see you, cops will be called. If your wife harasses me in any way, cops will be called. If your daughter got something to say, cops will be called. Your son-in-law got something to say, cops will be called. I'm not playing games with you. I'm not about to bandy words and go back and forth with my safety with you. I take my safety very fucking serious. So now you're a threat. And now you need to stay away. I'm saying it respectfully. Please stay away. If you can't understand English, you'll understand handcuffs. I'm not playing. People, let me tell you. Family may be family, but some things you don't let happen. And once a line is crossed, some people got to be cut off. But I know my mother's not the type to do that. But I am. Oh, ask me for how many people I did cut out my life. And when I say cut out, I only speak to you when I see you, and I avoid things that I know you're going to be at because I don't want to have dealings with you. If I can talk. So here we go. Um, Like I said, this was not my planned podcast, which I actually had something pretty cool and nice. So sit and drunk and drink, talk, but, um, no. Like I said, DPS is affecting me now, and I will have to corner. Please note. That your perception of DPS will be different from mine, I understand that. I understand that you may feel that I'm exaggerating, but no, I'm not, and I got witnesses. Um, so, the other thing is, what kind of man tries to hit a woman? Like I said, you still a pussy. You not change. You still a motherfucking pussy. And like I've said before, I never trust you. I told my mom. I didn't trust you. And I constantly told her she should quit dealing with you. I constantly told her she shouldn't even talk to you because you are vile. And you proved it over and over again, you piece of shit. Every time she tried to take you back and be nice to you, you pull something out of your ass that makes everybody know you're a piece of shit. Every motherfucking time for decades you've been doing the trick. Like, seriously. Oh my goodness, there wasn't the guy, what is his name? Jack Doherty. It wasn't jo- uh, Jack Doherty and Neon. You were just really awful. Have you ever thought about that? That you're awful? That the way you handle things makes you look weak? I am bed bound and disabled and I handle myself better than you. I can self tube and regulate my emotions better than you. And the reason for that is I don't allow niggas like you to upset my peace. I keep peace in my home. I keep peace around me. When you came in with whatever you came in with, first of all, say no, don't do you, because I know that there's got to be something behind that. Because you've been bringing all manner of problems to my mother. I ain't having it. I'm done, I'm done with you, done with your wife, done with your daughter, done with your son in law, done with the baby that your daughter is carrying. And I don't blame the child for being born into a horrendous, horrible family where they'll probably be mistreated, misused, but taught to steal, lie, and manipulate. Because that's what you're good at. You're good at stealing, lying, and manipulate. Those are, your, those are the only traits you have. And I know they're not good, but those are the only fucking traits you have. Sick of people telling me, like, oh, blah, 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 blah. No. I'm done with you. Done with your family. It's a wrap. Because you will not. You will not bring your mess in this house again. I can't ban you because this is not my um, dwelling of this place, so I can't ban you. What I will say is I will disregard your entry, and if you come anywhere near me, I'm calling 911. You I banned from my life. I can do that. I can ban you from my life, which, oddly enough, I never wanted you in in the first place. Because you're horrible. And I always knew that as a child, I knew there was something wrong with your ass. As a child. And you keep proving me right. When are you going to prove me wrong? They keep proving me right. Every time I turn around, they ask to do it. You are sus. You are full of fuck shit. Because that's all you do is fuck shit. I don't even understand. 
why you as a man can't be a man? You got a whole wife. When shit happens in your home, go to her. Talk to her. Make, get comfort from the one that God gave you. She's supposed to be a key to favorite, but she acts like a key to failure. Yeah. She's supposed to be a key to favorite, but she acts like a key to failure. Every time you got really upset, and my mom would call her to ask her to look in on you. She didn't give a fuck, right? The wife didn't care. Your wife never cared. See, you marry someone like you. Someone who has an inability to connect genuinely with other human beings. That's who you married. You married the female version of yourself. So now you're locked in this fucked up marriage with an equally fucked up daughter who has an equally fucked up husband and now they're about to have a baby. Well, sir, the fuckery shall continue to another generation because y'all can't see to put down anything you got and go before God and say I lay it all bare. See, what you're not about to do, because I, I can't take this shit, what you're not about to do is fuck with my family. You have now proven to me that you are a threat. I repeat, you are a threat. I keep saying that you are because that's what you are now. You have made yourself a threat. Don't come near me. I, I don't like threats. I handle threats accordingly, and I'm letting you know now. Stay away from me. Don't talk to me. Don't mention my, don't even say the first syllable of my name. Keep the first syllable of my name out your mouth forever. Just don't, don't even regard me, because if you do, if you do not heed this warning, and you repeatedly try to talk to me, so I will have you arrested for harassment. Do you understand me, you worthless, utter, hopeless piece of shit? The only hope you have is Jesus. You need to return to him and get yourself right before God because, nigga, you fucked up for real. And I'm just saying my husband's dead because if my husband was alive, you'd be picking up your teeth. If my husband was alive, you'd be lucky to see him up because my husband never played about me. Never played about my mama either. So you lucky that my grandfather and my husband are dead because you know what would happen to you if they were living. You know my husband loved my mama and wouldn't tolerate none of this. And if I told my husband I saw you as a threat, you'd be taken out like a threat. My husband was, um, he had a myriad of psychiatric ailments. He was never violent with me. He did tell me when we got married that if there was a pedophile in the neighborhood, he would locate them and deal with them. My husband had some tries to organize parties. I'm not ashamed of it, actually. I was pretty proud when he told me. Because, I'm going to side note, I know I'm off on the tangent. Side note, my mother asked me when I was about eight whether I wanted to be my wife or my mistress. I said, wife. Little did I know that God was going to make that come true in a mighty way. I, listen, I didn't know I just talked to my mom. It was a regular, normal conversation. And then God did it. And I'm like, God just really is me. God must be for me. But I'm telling you, I ask for me, I don't want to see him again. I don't want to speak to him. I'm not saying I hate him because hatred will block my blessings. And then they ain't worth me being blocked on blessings for his ass. It ain't. And they ain't even had to do before he left, I told him I love him. I'm not one of those people that I have to carry stuff, but it needs to be said, that nigga is a threat. And it also needs to be said, he needs to leave my family alone. He will not be allowed to speak to me because I will shut it down fast. I don't care. It ain't about harmony. I don't tell me about harmony. Don't tell me about peace. Don't tell me about bygones being bygones to be the bigger person. I hate that being the bigger person shit. People do wrong to you and I got what? With, with who? Hell no. What you need to say is accept the fact that the person you're dealing with did something wrong. And I can accept that, but being a bigger person, like I'm gonna overlook fuck shit. That will not happen in this case. That will never happen in this case. Are we clear? Because as far as I'm concerned, and it's just me, as far as I'm concerned, he can't come around me. And the, can I say soon be husband to my friend Faye? Uh, doesn't want him around her, and I don't want him around her. So, 
He uh, works for me four days a week. And see, the thing is, she was upset by what he did, and so she went out to have a phone call. Which I'm glad she did, because she needed to calm down. I was just in the room going, oh. See, I, I don't want to get rolled up about this. I'm just saying that he needs to go. I Just go, stay where you are, and don't bother us. Do not call, do not write, don't. No sky riders, no smoke signals, leave us be. Please, have some common sense. Know you fucked up and know you shouldn't be seen around here. Because guess what? Your little outburst, your little tantrum was heard. And so people are on alert when they come to you. I don't have to do shit. I just need you to light that boat, Captain. Just send a hand up and say, no, your ass will be grabbed. Don't fuck with me and don't fuck with mine. So, y'all have a good night. Um, sorry I had to bring this to y'all. I'm, I know that I'm a beginner podcaster and I'm just getting into it really and trying to build up a following. And I don't mean to bring all this to you, but this is the fastest way I know to let everybody that I don't know DPS. Hmm. What, what's that? Like? And thank you, Kendrick, for so many diss tracks for so many points in life. Um, let's see, yeah, when you said keep the family away, that's, yeah, keep the family away from this degenerate. I have stories. Um, and if you want to know more about this degenerate, I'll do other podcasts. I, I don't care. You can just, wherever you're listening, comment, wherever you're hearing it on, and I, if you want it, I'll give it to you. But I thank you for hearing me out. Thank you for listening. And anybody that knows me, those initials, D-P-S. He actually is a member, technically, of the church I grew up in. D-P-S. Has a little hand problem. And he got a little other problem. And then the other problem. I'm not saying what they are right now. But if he pushed me, I can't understand. If I'm left alone, I'll... Cat would have said if he was left alone, he wouldn't say nothing. But when you won't leave a person alone, then I get, see, I'm not generally like this. But he is walking up North Philly, me. And that's the first time I'm in where I'm located. But I'm not actually there anymore. But I grew up there, and uh, that's where I take my attitude from. North, yeah, and uh, what happens with that is, um, yeah, I'm not there anymore yet, yeah, Rupert. Listen, you can't take it out of me. The thing that most people don't understand is I love my mother. And I will protect her. I'm an only child. My husband is big. Before he died, we set up a plan to make sure I could assist my mother. Do you understand? There is no way on God's green earth I would ever let this be a lie. The plans that are in my head, most of them will be discarded because they're not in the will of God. I don't want to displease God when handling this situation. Oh, and if you think I can't talk about the Lord of Curse, check it. Check your own life. There's some that you can lease another people's language and missing the message. And it's only offensive because you were told it was. But the words I use, I understand. Fuck. For a lawful carnal knowledge, it's virgin to you to say. Shit is not submit and bitch is a female dog. I fully understand what I'm doing when I call people those names and when I say those things. I understand it. I'm a nigga is an ignorant person. So, get this, I understand everything that I have said that would make you uncomfortable. And it is my right to say it. I don't, I don't care whether you like it or not. Because frankly, um, I don't police your speech. And if you say, well, I don't have a podcast, get one. Get a fucking podcast. Say whatever you want. But if you're trying to police this, you say, Oh, you think we got an application? I, I had this one bitch when I went to college. Like, oh, my virgin is. I'm like, so only your ears are virgin? Like, what the fuck? Go up. The real world doesn't have polite speech to people that can't handle roughness. The world doesn't care that you can't handle the word fuck shit, bitch. Hell, they don't care. Neither do I.
I will say this and then we'll be good. Um, for those of you that have supported me, I know there's some of you that have been rocking with me since before I started all this. God bless you. And greatly increase you as you go. To anybody that's newly listening, I appreciate you taking the time. Sorry if this is your first time hearing me because it's was unpleasant to do. However, it was necessary. Now, um, to those of you who cut it off when I started cussing, fuck off. Really? Are we going to do this shit? Are we going to add this if we don't? Is this in a world where there's language? Or perhaps you would have been warned. Oh, I'm sorry. Before I end, I do have to say this. Nigga, chota dunda. Chota, chota, chota dunda head. Chota dunda head. Piece of shit. Yeah, um, sorry. Just lift a little bit of that in there. Those that know what that means, know what that actually means. And so, show that on the head. And for all of you that are supporting me, uh, thank you. And those, some of you I know pray for me. I greatly appreciate it. You guys rock. You are awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate every last one of you. And to those of you who have heard what happened today and just wanted to see if I was okay or make sure that nothing was wrong, Thank you, God love you, God bless you, because in all honesty, I needed that. Thank you, and I don't know if I can mention your name, but your first initial is F, and I appreciate your loving kindness. Okay? Everyone have a good evening. Bye-bye.